Hey, bird watchers, it's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're all doing well out there. So if you follow my channel, you know that I just switched to a 16 foot baby peanut Airstream that I love. There are some things that I need to modify in here to make it a better full-time living space. And the first thing I have to fix, I'm gonna tell you about today. Now, if you guys saw my last video where I gave you a tour of my little 16 foot Airstream, you know that this is a very small space, especially if you're going full time. So I'm working on a few things like the hot water and the refrigerator and power. And I tore my back legs off like a rookie. So I need to work on that as well. But before all of that, I decided I cannot camp another night in this rig without addressing the mattress. Seriously, my stock mattress is painful and frustrating, and I'm sick of waking up tired and with a sore back. If you guys are RVers, you know that the original mattresses that come with RVs kinda suck. I mean, seriously, yikes. This is a standard RV mattress that you see below here. It is nothing. It is like sleeping on wood. But when I bought this little baby peanut Airstream, I first sat on the bed and I thought, oh my God, it's so comfortable because the prior owner put a topper on it, which is great when you just sit down for a minute. The problem is when you're full time in a rig like this, there's no recliner. There's no place to just chill out. So I have to make my bed into like a day bed area where I can hang out and sleep at night. And for me, living in this RV, the bed turned into a real issue. I thought that I could go outside and hang out, you know, in my camp chair. But like many of you have experienced this year, the weather's been pretty heinous. I mean, it's super windy right now, just like it's been every other day. So there have been days that I have been trapped in here, hanging out either at the dinette, which is not comfortable, or back in my bed. And, you know, day after day, waking up with a stiff neck, I decided that I had to find a solution. So I started asking around and every friend that I asked had a Brooklyn bedding RV mattress and they absolutely raved about it. So when they reached out to me to see if I wanted to review one of their mattresses, you better believe I jumped all over it. If you're about to start an RV life, know this. RV mattresses come in funky sizes. You can't just go down to your local store and buy a queen mattress, let's say, and it will fit as a queen mattress in your RV. You have to get an RV queen. Well, that's one of the reasons that I loved Brooklyn Bedding because they have a wide array of different size mattresses, which was super important for me because I have an Airstream. Now, full disclosure, you guys, I'm a little bit nervous about this because... An Airstream has a curve to it, and a standard Airstream mattress is cut to fit that curve. But I don't want to get a standard Airstream mattress or get one from like Airstream Supply because it's the same mattress. I called customer service at Brooklyn Bedding RV Mattress, and they actually talked to me about my mattress choice. I went into all the options they had online, which is great, but when I talked to them about the curve in the Airstream, and my concern about the curve. They suggested a mattress called the Signature Hybrid. It's 11 inches thick when my standard Airstream mattress was only eight and super hard. And that should poof out, hopefully, and fill up the space better than a standard mattress would. Another thing that I really liked about Brooklyn Bedding's RV mattress line is that they don't charge you for the shipping and these are big boxes and you can try out the mattress for 120 days and if you don't like it, you can return it. It's like no harm, no foul. If you have any kind of other regular RV and you have an RV king or an RV queen or RV bunk beds or whatever, any of their mattresses will work fine for you, but I'm talking to the Airstream people out there because who wants to have to buy the original curved mattress, which is not comfortable, and then try and put a topper on it that exactly matches that curve and stand outside with a chainsaw and try and get that foam cut. It's a nightmare. 
So keep your fingers crossed for me. I had the mattress ordered to a park that I'm staying in because my friend is here and he's going to help me remove the old mattress and put the new one in. Fingers crossed that it works. So this is the box with the mattress. Not too bad, but again, it's only a double twin. We'll be able to fit that in the door fine. Everybody, this is my good friend, Paul. He's Hi. helping me. <laughs> Paul is the greatest. He's one of my dearest friends and you know only good friends help you move in a mattress. What a champ Paul is. He's doing it by himself so I can film this. <laughs> Lazy. Of the box. And there we go. <laughs> it's nice sometimes to have a little bed. <laughs> Said the person that's not carrying the mattress. Use trusty scissors, not a utility knife. <laughs> it sound like you speak from experience. Yeah, I do. It's so nice to have good friends. <laughs> Only one of us fits. Okay, we're getting close. Get it, Paul. You wrestle that beast. There's a hissing noise because it's already starting to fill up with air. So what we need to do is get it into place and then cut off the rest of the plastic because then it's gonna poof up. We'll see with that curve as soon as we get it down, fingers crossed. You can see where I cut the plastic and the vacuum is coming apart. It's gonna poof up. Oh my God, do you see that? Whoa. Wow, it's like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. <laughs> wow, it already, God, I don't know, it's at least 50% bigger already. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to get a good night's sleep. I think it's going to fit. Really? Yeah. I really like it. It's so Princess and the Pea. Yeah, it's already comfortable since I've laid on it. Wow, look at that. And I actually really like this, like, denim look. Ooh, this is a full-timer mattress right here. Yeah, buddy. Can you access your storage compartments okay? Yeah. I never use them, but actually, it's perfect. Will they open? Yeah. Look at that. Nice. I guess people use this for laundry, but it's just too hard to get to for me, so I won't. That will be covered in pillows. Old mattress. New mattress. Old mattress. Mmm. New mattress. It's perfect. No problem with the curve at all, Airstream owners. I have a wonderful new mattress. Well, fast forward, and I am finally out boondocking on this wonderful new mattress, and I love it. And I think you would too. It is night and day from what it was like to sleep on the standard Airstream mattress. It only took like 20 minutes to set up, and it's like sleeping on a cloud. And the boy loves it too. Thank you, Brooklyn Bedding, for making my full-time RV life so much more comfortable and for sponsoring this video. Remember, everybody, you can get a whopping 25% off a purchase of a Brooklyn Bedding RV mattress by using the code CREATIVITYRV. I'm going to keep it rolling. I've got tons of content coming out. I've got other renovations, my solar install an adventure tour I went on, and some RV park drama. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit the little bell. And I'll see all of you next Sunday with an all new video. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.